Hey guys, what's up? Triple J Boxing here. Um, and uh, I wanted to talk about a recent interview that they had with Floyd Mayweather talking about if he was um, Spence's advisor, he would tell him not to be fighting at 147. He thinks that that weight um, is making him weak, that he should not be going down that low. And that it's affecting his performance when he was asked about in like, I think it was a fight hype interview. He was asked about his performance against Crawford. And he actually went on record saying that like Crawford or um sorry, Errol Spence should be fighting at 160 or 168, which I don't really agree with. I think 154 would be okay. Um, but 160 would be tough. And 168 would just be very tough considering how he's been per performing lately. Yes, you could say maybe it was the weight, that's why he's performing like that, but I don't know about that. Um, um, obviously, we'd have to see how he does at 154 first, but um, yeah, like he is 5'9 and a half, 72 inch reach, I think, around there. So he would have the size to be at 160, but 168, he would be small. Um and just imagine him fighting like a David Benavidez. Just imagine that how that fight would go if Spence tried using that bullying style he used against um, Ugas and, and like opponents of recent, right? It just wouldn't work at, on those bigger guys. He would have to really use his technical boxing skill and box and move around the ring, which I don't even know if he could really do that for a full 12 rounds against guys like David Benavidez, even Caleb Plant or Canelo. Like, obviously, these are the top guys, but it'd be it's very hard to see how he could beat some of those guys. At 160, I could see him going up to there. He obviously would still have to deal with people like Golovkin. Uh, Chris Eubank is there, I think. Isn't it like Liam Smith is there? Or... Uh, yeah, so you got you got some you got some uh, you got some some tough competition at one sixty as well. Um, you got Shane Mosley Jr. there, so there's some names at one sixty, but I actually wouldn't mind seeing that uh, Errol Spence versus Triple G, since Triple G's older and Errol Spence, we don't know where he's at right now. Um, that'd be interesting to see, but. I disagree with Floyd in saying that he should be at 160, 168. Um, I think 154 would be a good move for next. Maybe a rematch with Crawford at 154 if that's in, if Crawford agrees to that since his the ball's in his court pretty much. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't. I, I think 160 is okay. I could accept seeing that. I think that would be okay because um, we all we've this all stemmed from. Years and years of uh, rumors that Spence walks around at like 180, 190 or something like that. Like he blows up in weight crazy amounts um, when he's not fighting. And he's been vocal about it, that it's been hard to make weight. And that uh, he has to hire special nutritionists, um, a special chef he, he actually hired for the Ugas fight that really helped him, he said. He uh, credited him to winning that fight to helping him perform like that um like everything each meal had to be the right amount of calories and everything right he, he couldn't have any mistakes um so obviously he does have a tough time making the weight he's made it clear there's been rumors also but he's actually said he's had a tough time making weight and that could be the reason why he's been lack of performance lately but is it just because He's declining maybe. Maybe the car crash. Maybe the detached retina and training. Maybe it's all catching up to him, right? Maybe the motivation's not there anymore. I kind of think it's just... <clears throat> I think it's more wear and tear on the body, the detached retina and the car crash. That has something to do with it. But maybe it is the weight. Maybe that's a big part of it too. But I think he should test out 154 first um, and see uh, how he does there before going to like... Obviously, this is just Floyd saying what he should do. I don't think he's actually going to go all the way up to uh, 
all the way up to like 160 or 160 and in his next fight i think he wants he's made it clear he wants the crawford fight um next and that could be at 154 so i think 154 is a good move for him but i wouldn't go to 160 right away but i wouldn't mind seeing that triple g fight that would be interesting to see how he would do there and then maybe he could get a canelo fight like they've been talking about for the last couple of years but uh yeah 154 you got um tim zoo you got uh who else you got at 154 you got uh, Brian Mendoza, Sebastian Ford, Ford, Fordora, that really tall 154-pounder. Um, um, you have uh, Korbanov. You got... So there's decent names there. You got some names. But I think he could uh, he could do something there. I think Danny Garcia was there too, wasn't he? He's not listed on box right there, but I'm pretty sure Danny Garcia moved up to 154. So... Maybe, yeah, maybe it's time for Spence to move up. I, in that aspect, I do agree he should move up. But, uh, yeah, like, let me know what your thoughts on what Floyd said. Do you actually think he should be fighting at 160 or 168? 160 would be the absolute limit for Spence, in my opinion. Um, unless he gets a big money fight with a Canelo, I wouldn't go past 160. I just don't think there's really... The only reason we're talking about Crawford going up to 168 is because Canelo's there, right? And Crawford, the way he did to Spence makes you believe he can beat Canelo. But, like, yeah, like, uh, 168's big. And I just don't think Spence is big enough for that division. So, uh, I think 154 is a good move for Spence. So, let me know what you guys think about Floyd's comments. Um, and, uh... Yeah, this is Triple J Boxing. Take care, guys.